Good morning, everyone. Minasang, ohayo gozaimasu. Uh, I would like to introduce to you uh, our group uh, from Japan. So I would like to request all our executive officers to please stand up. See, I'm so blessed uh, being surrounded by a mighty women of God in the land of the rising sun. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I would like to say thank you to Pastor uh, John Won Kim for setting the historical foundation of Japan missions, uh, specifically Japan Christian missions. My part today is to present uh, the needs and possibilities of Japan uh, missions today. So in the next uh, few minutes, I will give you a broad perspective of the needs and possibilities of doing missions in Japan. Uh, you will learn the current major issues that Christ facing the Christian witness, uh, possible pathways and collaborations of doing monocultural and multicultural missions, engaging in high impact, low profile engagements through the diaspora Christian ministries that are already existing in the nation. Uh, first of all, we need to answer the question why Japan? Uh, the videos we watched earlier, if came earlier today, the videos we watched at the beginning gave us uh, a common uh, answer to that question, why do missions in Japan? And the common answer is this, the needs are great, the challenges are complex, and the workers are very, very few. The needs are great, the challenges are complex, and the workers are very, very few. So first of all, I would like us to uh, take note of the facts about Japan. Currently, we have over 127 uh, million, uh, about 76.6 claim they have no personal religion. And uh, there was a survey conducted, and uh, it was found out that among this uh, group of claiming there's no personal religion, 30% uh, of them preferred Christianity uh, to, be, to become their own religion rather than other religion. Secondly, Jap the Japanese is the second largest and rich people group in the world. You see that only 0.43% are Christians against the 127 plus uh, populations. On a given Sunday, the average church membership is 64, and on a given Sunday, the average size of the church is 34. Most churches have only 15 to 20 people. Uh, most believers fall away after five years. And there are about 1% donors or graduates from uh, Christianity. Uh, last year, at the close of last year, I and uh, one of my interns here uh, visited a church in one of the uh, district in Tokyo. Uh, we we want to try to uh, collaborate with the Japanese church, uh, but the place was uh, smaller than uh, what we think. And uh, we found out that they only have uh, 18 members in the church, and not, of them, not all of them are attending a Sunday service every Sunday. And of those 18 members, all of them are senior citizens above 65 years old. And when, I, when we look at the uh, uh, bulletin, uh, there were no registry of any member lower than the senior citizen. No university students, no high school, no middle school, no elementary, no Sunday school at all. So most of the churches in Japan are aging churches.
The average age of the Japanese pastor is 67 years old. One church for every 16,000 Japanese. There are still 22 cities and 1,800 rural communities without a single church witness. The numbers tell the truth. So let me go on to the most pressing concerns that we face as a nation in, in Japan. First of all, Japan is an aging nation. It is the most rapidly aging nation in the world. 33% of the population are above 60 years old, and this is current data in 2014. Ages, ages 14 years old is under 12% of the population. It is also a nation with a very low marriage rate. People tend to remain single all their lives. And low fertility rate. Very few uh, babies are born you know, every year. There are more people getting old than babies being born every year. Secondly, it is a disaster prone nation. There is an active Crustal movements under Japan. Uh, geologically, Japan is sitting under uh, three active tectonic plates and is very close to uh, three subduction zones that caused the uh, famous uh, Tohoku disaster in 2011. So uh, the scientists are expecting that there will be more earthquakes. Uh, more than what was presented uh, earlier, 1,500, uh, more of that coming, and more strong earthquakes, uh, more volcanic activities, stronger typhoons coming, and there will be storm surges that may be uh, equal or greater than what we experience in our own place in Leyte. Scholars say that there, are, there is a strong uh, possibility that Tokyo will be hit by a strong earthquake to the tune of magnitude 7 or magnitude 8 in the next 30 years, and this was a study done in 2012, so the time is uh, ticking down. And uh, the, the disaster might cause you know, an equivalent of what was experienced in the Tohoku region in 2011. And thirdly, why you know, Japan is Japan is known to be a bullying and suicide nation. Uh, several years ago, there are more than 30,000 people who are committing suicide every year. And uh, most of the suicides happen uh, during the winter time, that's December, uh, at the close of the year, and uh, the onset of the new year. It's, it's so really uh, depressing to, to read those news happening uh, around you. So there is bullying reported in every corner you know, of uh, the nation. Uh, bullying is a very, very big problem in the schools in Japan, not just in uh, uh, elementary, but uh, in all levels of uh, education. Uh, at work, you know, there's uh, bullying at work, and uh, uh, workers tend just to be quiet with their experience, but now there's a growing concern uh, about bullying at work uh, several uh, months ago, uh, there was a very young lady, fresh graduate, who just started uh, uh, working in a prestigious company. Uh, but after working for several years, uh, she ended up committing suicide because of uh, the work environment and the uh, uh, too much uh, overwork. Uh, so, having known that Japan is an aging nation, uh, it is very easy to say that uh, we have a very, very short window of time to reach out to the largest 
uh, percentage of the population who are dying every minute without Jesus. And since Japan is a disaster-prone nation, we have seen the devastation in 2011, and uh, scholars are saying that there will be another one very, very soon. It uh, increases uh, the number of people dying without Jesus. In all areas of the society, there is so much depression. Even the young people are hopeless. It is so sad to see that in this very great, rich country, people has no hope. And we know the answer. That's the great need and the complex situation that we are working. But we always thank God because there is a flicker of hope in the midst of great darkness, spiritual darkness in that nation. So there are already resources on the field. For more than 150 years of sowing the gospel seeds in this nation, we believe that the word of God will not return to him empty. There are about 8,000 Protestant churches all across Japan. No matter how dim the light of the gospel might be, we also believe that darkness cannot extinguish the light. For the Japanese believers being willing to sacrifice a lot to follow Jesus and supporting the local churches, almost equivalent to martyrs in modern times, we praise God for them. For every single believer, Japanese believer, who are so precious in the eyes of God, they can be used to turn the nation back to Jesus. For the many ministries supporting the churches, we thank God for that. There are many Bible schools, student ministries, family ministries, counseling ministries, and all other ministries as entry point into the Christian faith. There are also many Christian resources available. Uh, Bible has been translated into the Japanese language. Uh, there is a modern version that has come out lately. Uh, there are books, Christian films, and media that has been translated into Japanese. So these are resources on the ground. And we thank God for the Japanese pastors and Christian workers giving themselves sacrificially for God's kingdom work in this nation. And this is what we are very excited about, the recent developments in this nation. Uh, there is a strong presence of Christian diaspora uh, movement in Japan. I have met many uh, leaders in different ethnic uh, groups, uh, Myanmar groups, Indonesian groups, Portuguese, the Hispanics, uh, the Chinese, the Koreans have a very strong Christian presence in Japan too. So there are many uh, Christian diaspora ministries which are undocumented at this point in time. And recently, uh, the OMF, Overseas Missionary Fellowship Japan, uh, we, we knew that there are some OMF people uh, in this uh, group also. And the Japan Evangelical uh, Association uh, recently uh, began to work alongside the diaspora ministries. Our group, the Japan Council of Philippine Churches, was invited in several consultation meetings to uh, form a blueprint of engagement uh, with this uh, organization. So the Japan Evangelical Association uh, made a parallel organization with what was existing today, and they call it the Glocal Connection. It's a collaboration of Japanese ministries, overseas, and ethnic churches in Japan. So now they're beginning to see that God is working through the ethnic ministries in Japan. We praise God for the uh, classical, traditional, missionary uh, entry point in Japan, but now we are seeing that God is using 
more and more people from different races enriching this nation, whether directly or indirectly, in order for them to be safe. Uh, before I came in uh, here, I had a meeting with the founder of uh, the Youth with a Mission at Japan, and uh, uh, we are excited to form uh, in, the, in the next uh, months a renewed uh, missions partnership with uh, the Youth with a Mission uh, Japan. So what are we saying uh, through these uh, resources you know, in the ground? Uh, though the needs are great, though the challenges are complex, and there's still very, very few workers, what we are saying here, Japan is a nation that is still open for the gospel, and there are resources on the ground. Partnerships can be forged, entry points can be made, and Japan has a chance to be called a Christian nation. May the Lord steer hearts to choose the greatest challenge. May we be like Caleb, who will be calling out to God and say, give me this mountain. Though there may be gigantic challenges that is facing us, may the Lord's Spirit fill us all to heed the call for Japan. God bless us all.